It's a fashion extravaganza in Uganda's capital. With glaze and glamour, pomp and style, designs from across Africa are showcased on the catwalk. Designers have expressed their creativity and diversity from stars like Stacey Ameto to child models. We now really do see the value of the creative individual in their businesses and hopefully yeah, this can continue to expand and get to a week and the week will be again what it is meant to be a platform for various designers locally, uh, continent wise and international so that we can create this back and forth business. With the theme underground, it takes a village. The event is a fusion of African craft and internationally acclaimed haute couture. Africa as general we are a young population, so a lot of people have been abroad, they've studied, they've traveled, and a lot of people are coming back, the diaspora is coming back, so with the skills people have learned abroad, they can come back and implement them and help create industries, fashion being one of them. However, backstage, Uganda's growing fashion industry is facing several challenges. Designers say raw materials are increasingly hard to source locally, which pushes their prices up and stifles competition. There's definitely a limited number of natural resources here, so the import and exporting of fabric is, is challenging for the designers. So the support that they're getting right now from the government is, is uh, very, very important. From dresses to bags, shoes to jewelry, organizers of the Kampala Fashion Week say Ugandans are starting to appreciate local designs. They've urged the government to provide the sector with more support so that the industry can grow and develop. Hilara Yesiga, CCTV, Kampala.